HVLDL, Hospice Visits Last Days of Life Measurement. When this data was evaluated in 2017, Medicare found that during the last days of life with hospice care, almost 45% of the patients had not received a skilled nursing visit and 89% had not been visited by a social worker. According to Medicare and to those of us in hospice care, we recognize that the last week of life has the highest amount of symptoms and care needing attention, both physical, the emotional impact for the family and the patient, and it requires very attentive care from the hospice team. Medicare prioritized the importance of visits and now says it has to be an RN or a social worker during these last seven days. Medicare keeps track of these records and gives hospices a score. This allows each hospice to look at their own practice and make adjustments in their scheduling according to the patient needs. Because we often don't see our team members, we can be like the ships passing in the night I might visit at nine, the chaplain at two, or the chaplain doesn't even plan a visit until next week. So often, because we don't overlap, what we notice doesn't get communicated and the patient changes may not be seen. It encourages us on the hospice team to communicate with our team members. Everyone needs to be aware so we can meet the patient's changing symptom and care needs. If you're in a hospice team, ask yourself, how do we communicate together? Let's talk about that next time. Please visit us at our website, the Hospice Care Plan, and of course, at our YouTube site for more videos. And let's learn more about end-of-life care so we can meet those patient needs. Thanks.